Okay, so I just filmed the one video which I think I did really, really well on. This is the first look. This is like my fourth video and I really hope that real people are watching this and it's not just me kind of like deleting the whole entire video. Um, I'm really trying to practice a lot and make sure I have good videos because I really want to kind of, I want to give you guys some really good tips and tricks and at least give you some, I don't know, like just motivation to try new things. So I was going to make this look like more of a natural look but with bold eyelashes and a bold lip but it doesn't really look that natural so I might just call it a berry look I guess. For me, it was pretty quick doing this whole makeup, and um, putting on eyelashes for me is now really quick, and I don't know why I keep touching my hair. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is the look that I came up with, and I really hope that, that it was good, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I, leave comments telling me anything I could do better, um, any suggestions. I am going to film an ID tutorial because I just took my... Um, driver's license picture. I renewed it and let me show you. So this is my driver's license picture. Can you guys see it hopefully? So I definitely want to do a tutorial on you know this picture and so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you could just subscribe that would be awesome. If you don't want to you don't have to. This is really just a hobby of mine. It's a passion. I love makeup. <laughs> Everyone knows I love makeup. Um, it's just what I love to do, really. And this is kind of like a pastime for me to do in nursing school. I'm in nursing school right now. I really should be studying because I have a huge exam on Wednesday. But, you know, what's life if you don't do what you want, you know, at the end of the day? And this is something I really, really enjoy. Anyway, I'm like, I'm really going off now. After filming four videos, it's like now I'm finally comfortable in front of the camera. Before it was a little daunting. But this is, like I said, the final look of what I did. And I hope you guys like it. Um, like I said, let me know. So the first thing I do when, I have, when I'm going to do a bold lip is I need to exfoliate my lips. And I always use the Lush Mint Julep one. If I don't have that one with me, if I can't find it, I use a toothbrush. And that's, it's the same thing. So after I exfoliate my lips, I always put my chapstick on. I use the Sugar Advanced Therapy. This is the only chapstick that ever works for me. So... I'm just going to totally prep my skin. I always put on a eye cream and today I'm just going to use the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I also carry some on the top of my lip and the bottom. Because around your eyes and around your mouth is a, like the most sensitive parts of your body. Next, next I'm going to put on my face cream which is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream. It's really, really nice. Regardless if you have oily or dry skin, I personally have dry skin. And this face cream just really brightens up my face and it it um, evaporates, or not evaporates, but it sinks into my skin really, really quickly. To start with my eyes first, I always start with my eyes first. Now you guys are totally zoomed in. And I'm going to use the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. Any eyeshadow primer will do. I'm first going to go in my transition shade. It's going to be Bobbi Brown Camel. I'm just going to go in with a Morphe brush. My favorite colors to put in my crease on like a natural day-to-day -day look is taupe and mauve in the Lorac Pro Palette. These two shades are so beautiful in the crease. I love them. So I'm just going to dig in. I'm going to go with mauve first. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, ColourPop matte shadow in Central Perk. I love this shadow. It's a really, really nice, deep 
It's a really nice deep burgundy shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flat brush right here and I'm just going to kind of pack it on just the outer corner. That's totally fine. I'm going to go back with Camel and with a big fluffy brush this time. I'm just going to blend this all out. A smaller blending brush and I'm just going to get these corners right here. I have to pluck my eyebrows pretty bad. See these hairs? Not liking that. And so this is pretty much my inner half. So I'm going to use Glow by ColourPop. And it's, this color is so opaque that it just looks so clean. So I'm going to go in with this little blending brush right here and get right in this corner, right in this pocket. So one part that's like imperative for me is to line the upper waterline. I use the ColourPop eyeliner because I'm telling you this will stay on your eyes forever. I'm going to get ready to do my lashes. I can't find my tweezers anywhere so we're just going to go in with my fingers. Today I'm going to mix my Hello Flawless foundation with my Josie Maron Argan Oil Illuminator. So my problem areas are right down here. I have some foundation residue because I washed my face and just did this video. So since this is my problem area down in my jaw, I always start down here. And I have a pretty big jaw. <laughs> and it's always touching like my shoulders or my sleeves so I like to have more foundation down there so it doesn't wear off. So I'm just going to blend out my foundation and I, I don't know how it looks on camera well I can see through the viewfinder but it really does match my neck very well I'm mixed and I have a very very pale face my mom calls me pale face girl because my face has always, always been paler than my body. So this is my trouble spot right here. Foundation always wants to cling right there. It really makes me angry, but anyway, we'll fix it with concealer. I'm a college student, so I have no money. So literally, I live off of samples from Sephora. So I'm going to use Y33 in this cute little sample that I have. And I think this color is a lot better for my skin color. I'm going to use my Hourglass palette. And I'm going to use this middle shade and then this, oops, this middle shade and then this one right here. And if, and if you guys are going to splurge on anything, I would splurge on the Hourglass palette. It is amazing. I... I don't know where I would be without it. I use it as a setting powder for my whole entire face. In the winter, I can use it as a bronzing palette. In the summer, or if I'm on vacation and I don't have enough room, I'll use this and I'll use it as um, eyeshadow. I use my Model Co. Shimmer Bronzer. And I don't see shimmer in this bronzer, to be honest. I love it. This is one of my favorite bronzers in the whole entire world. It's 
so my favorite that I don't even know where the top is anymore. I have to put it in like a little plastic baggie. And I always try to put a little bit of bronzer on the sides of my nose and under my lip. So after I just dust my bronzer, I like having not necessarily a contour, but just a little bit more definition. And then to do that, I will use my, I'll use my Kevin Aquan palette. And I, I can do a review on this palette. It's This palette costs a lot of money. And this cool tan color that I kind of made a mess out of, that is my favorite color to contour my face with. And when I mean contour on like a normal kind of glam everyday look, I just go right here and just dab. I do not move. I'm right here. This is where I go. And then that's it. I don't go any further. I just go right to that inner ear. So I go right here and I just go just like this. Back and forth. I'll flick it up, but I'm not moving from this tiny corner right here. And then that's it. That's my contoured face. <laughs> so now I'm just going to blend everything out. And I will take my powder to clean out under here. Because if I use a white setting powder and bake, it looks way too structured. I have really, really dry skin. And my favorite, favorite, favorite powder is the Smashbox Hydrating Powder. I'm in light neutral. So I'm just going to clean off the brush that I used to um, contour my face. And I'll just use the tiniest bit because I am dry. And I'll just clean up right under here. And like I said, around my jaws is my problem area. And that's where I need more coverage. Okay, so I'm literally sitting on three pillows on my couch because I don't have a stand for this camera yet. Um, so I keep moving around and fidgeting, I know, but it's what you got to do. So my favorite, my favorite blush ever are the Becca Shimmering Tint Souffles. You guys can see that. These are the most amazing blushes. They're cream. I take them on this flat top brush that I'm pretty sure I got through an Ipsy bag. And I just pat it. And I'm telling you, these blushes do not move. So now that I have my bronzer blush, did that. I'm just going to finish up my eyes and my brows. So I don't want to do anything too crazy with my I'm just going to take my um, Benefit Gimme Brow and clean them up. Because I'm really lazy, and I just don't feel like doing anything with them. And then I'm going to take my ColourPop um, eyeliner that I use on my top waterline and just line my bottom waterline. I'm going to use this red shade in the Jaclyn Hill Favorites Morphe palette. I have the wateriest, longest eyelashes and it doesn't matter if it's waterproof, it doesn't matter what it is. It will transfer to my under eyes. Blink Mascara is... Hold on, let me show you. Blink Mascara is the only mascara that does not... The only mascara that does not transfer. So I'm going to go with this color by ColourPop. I love it. It's my favorite one. It's my... It is so good that it doesn't even say ColourPop. It doesn't say anything on here anymore because I use it so often. And I have it in my purse for emergencies. <laughs> I love it that much. So, I know it's not even yet, but my advice for people who have problems doing liquid lipsticks is to do the best that you can really up close, and then take a second, step back, like, look, look far away, and then you, you'll really see, like, the little imperfections that you have, and then you can go back, and you can just fix it right up.
But I'm just going to use this white highlighter right here to highlight my face. And I'm just going to use a fan brush. So one of the last things that I so, so one of the last things that I do if I have a lot of time is I will recreate some of the freckles that I have. If you can see, I have these freckles that like peep in. I will take my Lorac Pro palette and I will take either the taupe or the mauve color. Depending on how I'm feeling, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with taupe. And I will take my little um, eyeliner brush. And I'll just take this very tip and I'll just, just pop a little bit in there. With a really soft hand, you're just going to go in and tap it. So just take a little bit of powder. I'm just put my face down. So my Mac Fix Plus has totally run out. So it, kind of, it just like splats all in my face now. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I, I hope you like it, and I hope I like it, and love you guys, even if I don't know you. I'm a lovable person, so just subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, and I will see you soon, hopefully. Bye. If I can turn off my camera, which I don't know how to do. Oh, wait. Okay. Bye.